at Harris County Department of Education, we offer a pipe fitting credential program. Now, whenever you come here, you do have to go through the uh, NCCR core curriculum, which is a, um, a prerequisite for NCCR through all construction fields, whether you want to do carpentry, plumbing, electrical, HVAC, welding, pipe fitting. You have to go through the core. But coming here, learning level one, level two, I mean, and also getting your core credential, that is your ticket to get to the front of the line, whether you are applying for a shop, out in the field, or for yourself. Once you go out into the field, the way these guys see it, or the way everybody sees it, is once you are able to read prints, look at them, and build it, you are technically a pipe fitter. You are no longer a helper. So the moment that you are able to do that, you get a pay raise. You get bumped up. Another thing I have noticed is a bunch of the students that come here come from totally different backgrounds. And they build a relationship with each other here. They help each other through the hard parts and then, I mean, it's, it's great because we're building teamwork. I've been a helper and a laborer for like staff for building, insulation, welder helper. I've done all the, you know, all the helping things. So my brother was a, is a boiler maker. And he was like, why don't you go to school for safety? So that's how it actually started. So I've been a NCCR certified in safety since 2012. I'm actually a level one welder as well. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to incorporate it in something that I've already been trained in. And um, I think I like pipe fitting better than welding. But I'm learning things about why we were doing the things that we did on the pipe that, you know, I didn't know why we were doing it. But I know now, because I'm taking the pipe fitting class, why it's supposed to be this way. Because we didn't, we didn't square them, we just kind of beveled them and, you know, tacked them together and, you know, just different stuff. But now it's all coming together. So I think if I would have taken the pipe fitting first, and then went to welding. But I mean, it's, it's, it, it's working out. I mean, I have a, a lot of things that, <laughs> that I wanna try and do. Um, but pipe fitting is my way um, to make a little bit of extra money and be able to save some money. Um, now that I would be NCCR certified, um, I think that the people that I know that I work with would, you know, take me on because I know women that are welders, I know women that are boiler makers, and I also know women that are pipe fitters. And we do good at it. We get people uh, who have a lot of experience in this line of work, in the industry, and in construction in general. Um, they've used a lot of these hand power tools, uh, so they're familiar with the tools, but maybe they don't know the pipe fitting side of it. So when they come to me through level one, they have experience and, and they, you know, I can just, you know, tailor the training to them a little bit more intensely than I can someone who's never used a grinder or a torch before. Um, and then you have people who've never touched a power tool in their life. They've been, you know, high school teachers or nurses or, or office type people anywhere from 19 years old to 55 years old, uh, male and female. People making career changes, life changes, uh, just want to, you know, set themselves up for a little bit better success in the future. Uh, and we tailor it here pretty much to the industrial, petrochemical, um, the refinery work that they have, you know, plentiful here. The sky's the limit. The, the progression is kind of up to the individual. They can progress, you know, as fast as they can do the work. So a lot of my friends, they've uh, been pipe fitting for more than four years. Uh, they've been all over the state. It's, they, they tell me it's a great craft. There's a lot of work out in the fields and you can learn a lot from there. You can move to other crafts. So I thought it was a good way to just start, take off from there. So I mean, you can do the math and go crazy. There's a lot of money to be made, especially with Houston, Texas being the capital of pipe fitting and welding in the world. Not just the country, it is the world.